welcome back to Cracking the Cryptic and another interesting Sudoku today. Um, now, we try and bring you variant puzzles, and obviously some people are quite new to the variants we bring you, and that's why we do the GAS, the Genuinely Approachable Sudoku, which um, are often very useful, brief, or sort of fairly quick solve introductions to the sorts of logic that you need in some of the variants. Now, sometimes people worry that those are quite easy, and the ones we're often doing on the channel are very hard. Um, what can we do in between? Well, Walking Writer, who used to go by the name of Tom Presto, has often supplied puzzles that are just in that sweet spot of, of manageable but not easy. Um, and I'm really looking forward to giving this a go. He actually sent it a while ago with some worries that uh, it was being sent at a time when we'd done a puzzle that looked a lot like it, which was Bent Aerial. I'm trying to remember who that was by. Manus Hand, maybe? Manus Hand? Not sure. Um, I think if it's if it was that puzzle, Manus is, did look like this, like a kind of starburst from the middle of the grid, as this is called, but it was using arrows. So quite a different puzzle. This one is using thermos and a few XVs and a couple of little killer clues. We'll get to that in a moment. We've obviously got to tell you that we've wrapped up the Looney Tunes um, Sudoku hunt. Well done if you sent in the right answer. We will be releasing a solution video tomorrow which will confirm what that answer should have been um, and also show you the solutions to the puzzles. So that will be on our Patreon. This, this was a Patreon competition. Um, for the $2 Patreons, the solution will go out, as usual, to the $3 Patreons. Um, if you are interested in that, make sure you're at the right level. That'll be tomorrow. Uh, we've also got... Um, what have we got? We've put on Patreon, we've put Sam Keppelman Lines' 6x6x6 puzzle, which is very entertaining. We will, at some point, put a solution video out for that as well, uh, for the $3 Patreons. So, Lots going on there on Patreon. Of course, we have been doing the uh, live streaming of The Witness, I think. Um, well, we're still working out what, what comes next, but we will do more live streaming. I think that's a, that's a given. Now, what's going on in this puzzle then? Um, thermometers have to increase from the bulb towards the end. Not consecutively necessarily, they just have to get bigger as they go out. Uh, any two cells connected by an X, you can treat it as the Roman numeral, they sum to 10. Any two cells connected by V sum to 4. And along the diagonals, the marked diagonals, the they have to add up to the number given, 55. Now they can include repeats. I can tell you that that 55 definitely does because otherwise it would be 45, but that's a secret. Um, and that's it. Do normal Sudoku rules, of course. Do give it a try on the link under the video. I'm going to start now. Let's get cracking. Right, well, two things have occurred to me while just talking through the rules. And one is that we've got all these bulbs in the center. So the first question we ask is, where does 9 go? It can never go on a bulb on a thermo, as long as the, yeah, it can't. So nine goes in the middle. Now, where does eight go in the same box? And this wasn't the second question. Um, this is just something that's occurred to me now. It's got to be in one of these two because they only have one more cell and they, if we had eight here, well, say eight here, nine, 10, obviously, and we can't have a, a 10. So one of those is an eight. I could pencil mark one of those, I can't type this. I can't get them. One of those is a nine, but that would confuse me later. I like to keep these corner marks to where a cell, a certain digit has to be within a box. So we'll see if I can maintain that. Anyway, one of those is a nine. Now, the other thing that I thought when I was talking through the rules was about these V cells. Since the two cells on a V add up to five, the two um, digits contained must be less than five. So we've got to be using one, two, three, and four in those cells. Now, that is going to mean that these other in column four are five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Uh, these ones can't be nine or eight now, which is quite nice. So they are a five, six, seven triple. 
These other ones must be 8 and 9 in some order. We don't know which. Now, 5, 6 and 7 here. I think this is very powerful. We go 1 out on the thermos and we must get 6, 7 and 8 because we've still got to go another out, 7, 8 and 9. And in fact, this one, I was beginning to think this was broken, but no, I can see a way for it to work. This is 8, 7, oh, let's do it in the right mode, 8, 7, 6, 5, and that's going to limit down all the others by one degree of freedom. Sorry if you can hear the drilling still going on. Right. So now we get to this position. Now we've got that x, which can't use 8, 7, or 6. Well, it has to use one number bigger than 5. So it's 9 and 1. And that's really quite a decent burst in at the start of Starburst. But then we have to think a bit more, maybe. Now, one of these is 8. As I said before, one of these is 9. And wherever that's happening, it's forming a triple, a 9, 8, 7 triple. In fact, it's placing 8 and 7 there. That's interesting. Wherever 9 is here, because 8 is there, that makes this 7 and 6 here. So somewhere here, we have 6 and 8 in a row. But it might be in the top row, or it might be in the bottom. Um, yeah, and I don't really know what to do. I'm thinking about trying this 55 diagonal because of this thermo that's all up in its business. Um, yeah, actually, that's interesting. If this was an 8 and this was a 9, then let's try and make everything else minimum on the thermo and see what happens. 9, 17, 26. This would be 6, 7, and 8 which are 21, that's 47. These other three cells would have to add up to 8. Uh, that is possible. I was hoping we'd get to an, an impossible sum, but we certainly don't. Right. Got to think of something else. Okay, these two bulbs have to be from 1, 2, 3, and 4, because in the box we've used up a 6, 7 pair, 5, 9, and we know it can't be 8. That one can't be 1 because of the 1, 9 pair. Um, hmm, I don't really know if that is telling me much. I mean, to be honest, these next two cells even could be from 2, 3, and 4, despite that being there. This one can't be. This has to be 5, 6, 7, or 8, because you can only have two of the low numbers there. It doesn't really get me anywhere. Okay, maybe I do need to think about this 55 diagonal again. It is 10 more than 45, which would be the average. So maybe it's not surprising that we're over the average on these ones. But the trouble is, if that's 8, OK, this comes down to at least 4. At most 4 is what I'm trying to say. Oh, look, I've just seen this thermo. Doh! Wake up, man. That can allow us to fill in all the remaining cells in row 5. So that's not a 1. This now couldn't be 3 and 4, because that wouldn't leave a fill for that. So this is from 5, 6, or 7. That is from 6, 7, or 8. Um, oh, I'm sorry I was slow about that. These are from 8, 2, 3, or 4. Which, oh, this now. 2, 3, and 4 are there. This must be 1, 9 as well, just like that one. Um, okay, 5, 6, 7, 8 are in the remaining cells there. That's now a quadruple of 5, 6, 7, 8. So that one can't be 8, and that is useful because now we know where the 8 bulb is in the center. 9 there, that's going to fix 1 and 9. I can't type. 1 and 9 above it. That is from 2, 3, or 4, making up a triple with those ones. These bulbs are a lot less use, though, than the ones we've got. That can't be 8 now. Ah, but 7 and 6 have been used up in this box, so that's one of them. This is the other one. 7 or 6 here. Now, maybe we can look at this 25 diagonal. It's shorter. Um, 
I don't know though, it doesn't look very helpful. At a maximum, this is 8, 11, 12, a 7 there, 19, 6 is 25, 29. Mm, it doesn't have much play away from 25. At a minimum though, 9, 14, 15, 17, we're miles away, right. Ah, but now we've got this 8 and 9, okay. Okay, that's interesting. Imagine this was a 6. Maybe that wouldn't work. No, sorry. Imagine this was a 7. Then you'd have 7, 8, 9. That's 24. Plus 9, 8, 9. So that's 50 already. These would have to add up to 5. That can be done, though. Hmm. Okay, I'm not quite seeing what to do. There's a 9 somewhere up here by... Sudoku. Ah, oh, there's a... N oh, look, that nine's looking at this cell. Yes, I did say that when we got to place nine on one of these two, it would sort out a triple. And then I forgot. Classic. Eight, nine. Okay, this is... Oh, pardon me. I'll just be back in a... Sorry about my annoying door buzzer. Now, we've got this nine and eight. We still don't know if that's six or seven, but now on this diagonal... We have three nines, two eights, that gets us to 43. So this takes us to 49 or 50. These three add up to five or six. Now they can contain repeat digits, but none of them's going over four now. Um, and in fact, these two, yeah, they could add up to five feels quite constraining, but it doesn't actually get anything done. Now, I was going to observe, 9 can't be here or here, so 9's in one of these two. That's not actually helpful. Um, I can't be bothered to pencil mark this tiny thermo or this one. Oh, that's become an 8, thanks to the 9 above. 8, 8, one of these is an 8. Feel like that's getting to this puzzle at all. That can't be. Oh, those two can't be nine. So we've got the nine up here. That X has not really done anything for us yet. Um, oh, that's become a one now. One and nine there. This is from two, three, four, five. Seven must be in one of those two cells by Sudoku. Um, eight. That can't be eight anymore. So that can't be seven. So these are getting quite limited. The trouble is this can still be... Ah, it means eight up here now must be in one of these two cells. Actually... Ordinary placement of eights would have done that for us. Um, yeah, a bit of a dead start. Okay, where does one go in this column? I could have asked that a long time ago, couldn't I? It's got to be here. One on a thermo can only ever be on the bulb. Wow, okay. I have really been dead to things in this puzzle, but... Waking up a bit now. Now, that's taken one degree of freedom off this diagonal because that can't be a one. So now I think this can't be four one because that would be too many from the calculations I did before. But it could still be a three, one, two there. Is there a way of getting these down to five? Yes, two and one, two. Okay, we're not resolved there yet then, but we're getting very close. Now maybe this one, I haven't looked at that for a while. Again, the maximum, 8, 11, 12, 22, and this could be a 7, 29. No, it could be a 6 now, um, which makes 28. So there's 3 one could take off, so that could go down to a 3, but it can't be a 2. And that is quite interesting. If that was a 2, you just couldn't get enough out of this diagonal. 12, 14, 20, 24 to make 25. Therefore, if that's not a 2, this can't be a 2 because that can't be a 1. So 2 must be in a pair down here with 9. 
which is surprising. That can't be a four. This now must be three or five. This can't, yes, it can still be a four. One, eight, two there. So that is not a two. So one of these definitely is for the box. I'm going to pencil mark this now. Four, five, six, and five, six, seven. Uh, the two, three pairs been used in the box. What does that prove? An eight is not. Oh, no, I've, okay. The pencil marking was wrong because I forgot eight. So four, five, six, seven. In fact, eight in the column now has to go here, which doesn't change the other pencil marking. Then we get an eight here. Now that's an X wing on eights in columns seven and eight. That uses up the eights for the column. So this is an eight, and that is on this useful diagonal, this diagonal that I always knew would help us out. Eight, 11, 12, maximum there takes us to 16. These two would have to add up to nine, which they're going to do. Now, eight, 11, 12, if this was the minimum one, that's 13, these two would have to add up to 12, but they cannot both be sixes. That's not allowed. So this is a four. These do add up to nine, and they've got to be six and three. And that is an incredibly helpful diagonal. Probably will finish the whole puzzle, weirdly. Um, that is now a four. We have a three, two pair in the central box. That's a four. This I am going to pencil mark now as five, six, or seven. Now, has that done anything? Yes, to this diagonal. That's become a two. Oh, I'm going to have to add up the whole thing again in a moment. I don't like keeping having to do that. Let's have a look at this first. That is either four, six that way around, or three, seven. It can't be eight, two anymore, or nine, one. Um, that two has fixed nine and two. This is a five, six, seven triple. We're getting lots of five, six, seven cells. Um, oh, this one is on a thermo with a seven on it. Ah, seven on the diagonal. That's what I needed. 24 takes us up to 50, 52. These two on the end have to add up to three. So we know that they are minimum. Um, there we go. Three and two gets fixed there. What else does this one do? It gives me a one in row seven. Might be finishing all the ones in the grid. I think I have. Two, nine, eight, one, seven, one, eight, nine, six, seven. Um, I kind of, I think I've done all the clues. I've done the two little killers. Just got that to resolve as a X in the XV. And I think all the thermos are effectively done, given that pencil marking. So the rest is just Sudoku. Oh, that's a naked single three. OK, that fixes two and three. That is now a two, four, five triple. Um, two in this row must go there. That places two in box four. Four and six we can do as well. Eight. One of those is a seven. One of the, oh, let's have a look at this column. Three, four, and five. No, they're not write-ins, I'm afraid. Seven, two, eight. How about this column? Yes, four is now looking up at that X. So we know that's seven and three. This has become a seven, actually. Can't do that six, five pair. That and that are not sevens now. Two and five into the final column. That gives us the seven there, two there. This is an eight, three pair that get written in. That's five or six, and I still don't know which. So five sixes, five and sixes are becoming the things that are holding out the longest in this puzzle. Two, seven, nine, one, eight. What am I talking about? Three needs to go in there. And that is four, five, or six as well. Seven is placed there. Just leaving all these five sixes, which become four fives. Oh, that's a five. Right, so we've got nine and six to finish in the row. Three, four pair. They are resolved by a three. Let's not mistype now. 
Right, everything else is a five, six pair remaining. Five and six. Five, six, five, six, five, and one more. There we go. That's a nice puzzle. As, I, as advertised, Walking Writer provides a very nice step between the easier puzzles and the harder puzzles. Hope you had a go at that, therefore. That, that's a really interesting and, and well put together puzzle. Um, and I really liked actually how the, the 55 and the 25 diagonals came into their own and helped us out, especially the 25, that worked very nicely. Very clever. Um, so thanks to Walking Writer for sending it. Thank to, thanks to you for following the channel and uh, hope to see you again soon. Maybe we'll be up to 400,000 subscribers soon. Remember to subscribe if you haven't already. Thanks and bye for now. Thank you.